This is Chapter 3, Learning Objective 2. We're looking at what are taxable wages, okay? Anything you receive in cash, uh, whether you call them wages or salaries. Wages is generally used for per hour um, calculation. Bonuses and commissions. Also, the cash value of meals and or lodging provided, but only if it's for the employee's convenience. If it's for the employee's convenience, then the employer um, has to calculate that as part of the wages. The fair market value of any non-cash compensation, for instance, gifts um, over certain amounts, it used to be $25, um, stock payments, a lot of companies when they're trying to attract um, people to come work for them, especially um, upper management or um, management, you know, like CEOs, they'll offer them cash plus stock uh, or stock options. And the fair market value of those stock options get included as cash, I mean, as uh, taxable wages, and you have to withhold taxes on them and pay Social Security and all kinds of stuff. Any fringe benefits like the personal use of a corporate car? So if you have a car, but uh, you can drive it for personal use as well as for company use, then that benefit has to be um, included. Any prizes um, or premiums on group life, group term life insurance um, greater than 50000 So uh, like the community college has life insurance on me up to the amount of my salary. Uh, it's not over 50000 If it were, then um, that those premiums on the excess uh, coverage over 50000 would be taxable to me. And vacation pay is also taxable. And there's some other types of uh, taxable wages um, that you can look at in the exhibit in your text. Also, uh, tips greater than $20 or more per month, and the employee reports tips to the employer using Form 4070. And any of you that work in a restaurant are probably used to filling this out. And then the, the employer will calculate the FICA on the tips and then withhold those from the regular paycheck, uh, but just on the reported tips. So as soon as the tips are reported, then the employer has to withhold on the first paycheck following that reporting. Um, and the employer also has to pay FICA on the reported tips. So remember, both employee and employer are paying FICA. Large employers, meaning those employers that have 11 or more employees, have to allocate um, uh, they, they must allocate uh, tips to their employees. And this doesn't mean that they give them to them, but they're allocating them. Um, and the formula for this is the employer takes their gross receipts, so their gross sales, times it by 0 .08, and then they minus the reported tips. And that difference gets allocated to the employees. Um, the the uh, reason being is um, there's often a, a discrepancy between what's reported and what's actually received. And so to use 8%, that's pretty low. Most people tip between 10 and 20%. And so they're, they're just being very conservative when they say, okay, take your gross, times it by 8%, and then subtract what you're reporting, and the difference gets allocated. And you don't have to withhold the FICA on the allocated tips, just on the reported tips, but the amount of the allocated tip income will be shown separately on the W-2 form, which we'll get to when we do Chapter 4. The employer can claim a credit for certain Social Security or Medicare taxes paid on certain employee tips on Form 4486. And the tips on, on which they could uh, get a credit for is the amount of tips in excess of those treated as wages for purposes of satisfying the minimum wage. Um, so 
you do have to show allocated tip income on the W-2 form. And the employer uh, files Form 8027 at the year end with the IRS, basically summarizing all of the food and beverage receipts and the reported tips. So if, if tips are continually underreported, meaning there's a big difference between, you know, a, a big amount of tips that are allocated, then the IRS might come in and take a closer look at what's really going on. Some wages are um, exempt from uh, FICA withholding. Meals and lodging for the employer's convenience. Google uh, has a reputation of giving their employees a lot of uh, benefits uh, because they want them to stick around and work long hours. My uh, niece works for Google and they've got uh, basically a campus with many different buildings uh, that uh, their employees work on. And they have several restaurants. Um, they can eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner there for no cost. There is, uh, you know, exercise facilities, doctor. I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff. I can't even remember all the stuff that she was telling me. But um, that's for Google's convenience uh, because they don't want their employees to have to go off campus, so to speak, to uh, find food. They'd rather have them... Uh, get the food, eat, and get back to work. Uh, and especially like for dinner, uh, you know, if, if they had to leave for dinner, chances are they wouldn't come back. But if they can just run across the campus and eat for free, then they keep them there. And that's the argument that Google uses to say, um, we shouldn't uh, be paying FICA on these, and, and um, they shouldn't count as wages. The, the value of the food that we're giving shouldn't count as wages because we're, this is for our convenience. This isn't for our employees. Um, sick pay. After six months of consecutive uh, months of being off, then uh, the wages are no longer subject to FICA. Um, sick pay by a third party uh, have some specific stipulations uh, regarding if they're uh, considered tax or wages or not. Also, there's sometimes a pay differential between the employee's salary and military pay. Um, for soldiers that are activated for more than 30 days, that's exempt. Um, so sometimes the employer uh, will pay them that difference, what they would have made if they weren't um, getting paid from the military. Employer contributions to a pension plan are not considered a wages for Social Security purposes. These are all for Social Security purposes. Um, an employer provided non-discriminatory non education assistance. So if uh, it's discriminatory if only certain employees can take advantage of it. But if it's non-discriminatory, then um, those are not included. Uh, you don't have to pay FICA on the value of the education assistance. So, you know, if you can get your employer to pay for you to come to school here, terrific, and it's not considered wages. Um, payment for non-job-related expenses up to um, $52.50, and this is relating to education, are also not included. 